This is the Mount Aloha Eruption Update for the 29th of November, 2022. Welcome to Day 2 of the current eruption of Mount Aloha. Just a few hours after Mount Aloha erupted inside its summit caldera, the eruption eventually migrated to the northeast rift zone, and activity inside the summit caldera ceased. Three fissures opened up at the 3,000 meter or 10,000 foot level on the northeast rift zone, with the lowest elevation fissure still active by 1330 Hawaiian Standard Time on the 20th of November 2022. Since 1800, over half of the eruptions started out in Mauna Loa's Makua Veo Caldera at the summit and migrate to either the southwest or northeast rift zones. Based on Mauna Loa's historical eruptions, this eruption may last about a couple weeks. Maybe a little bit more, but not as long as Kilauea's eruptions. However, there were a couple of eruptions in the 1900s that lasted for about four months or more. One in 1940 and one in 1949. This is the most recent eruption map from the U.S. Geological Survey. You can see that activity inside the summit caldera ceased and the current eruptive fissure is about four miles or about six kilometers northeast of the summit caldera. Initially, there were three fissures. However, two of the upper elevation fissures stopped erupting and the lower elevation fissure continues to erupt as of this writing. Around midnight on the 29th of November 2022, the Mauna Kea webcam facing southwest towards Mauna Loa recorded three, possibly four additional fissures downrift from the third fissure. This may be a game changer. Here's a map of Mauna Loa's eruptive fissures on the northeast rift zone. The one in yellow is fissure 1 and 2, which are now inactive. Fissure 3 is in red, that's still active. However, there are three to four new fissures that have started just downrift, probably about a mile, maybe uh, two kilometers downrift. As of the morning of the 29th of November 2022, this is the general area of where the lava flows are flowing from the current eruption of Mauna Loa on the northeast rift zone. As time goes on, the lava flows will start to flow north towards Mauna Kea and then eventually towards the east and it's going to start to make its way down towards Hilo. Here are some photos that were taken by the U.S. Geological Survey on the 28th of November 2022. The first was taken from Waikoloa facing towards the southeast just hours after the eruption started. These next two photos were taken on the morning of the 28th of November shows the first set of fissures. Here is a brief clip of the eruption that was filmed by the Coast Guard. Lava fountains have been reaching as high as 100 to 200 feet or around 30 to 60 meters. Also, whenever you get a chance, if you want to see some live views of the eruption of Mauna Loa, check out Two Pineapples and Apau Hawaii Tours YouTube channels. They got some excellent footage and close-ups of the lava fountains. 